everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my catch-all planner um, and I'm going to do uh, obviously a Halloween spread. So um, what I thought I would do is uh, I'm going to use a kit that I got from Our Budget Life. So she made up these pumpkins which I did a, a lot of uh, a pumpkin spread. Uh, you could see that on my Instagram. And she also made these beautiful um, spooky kind of stickers. Love them. So I'm going to incorporate that and hopefully um, it'll all turn out really, really cute. Uh, and I got some washi pulled aside, so um, let's just get busy. And I'm going to pull the 25th to the 31st off. Put that aside. So, welcome back everybody, and for anybody new, uh, I'm glad you popped in. I hope you'll consider sticking around. Uh, so, let's get busy. Um, I thought the first thing I wanted to do was uh, pull a kind of uh, October heading up here, because honestly, that one doesn't look very... Um, what do you call it, for lack of a better word? Spooky. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'll cover that up and just get a little bit of um, sticker paper and cover that up. And then that way I can lay um, a better October heading up there, which um, I think would be nice. A little bit, you know, what's the word? Halloweeny, as everyone this is saying. Halloweeny. So, I got this uh, Chrissy Ann Design stickers quite a while ago, and um, there's a whole bunch of dates and stuff in here. So I thought, you know what, let's just see if I can Pull something that looks a little so that looks good let's see if there's any other options uh, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna pick just because it's full the other one there seems to be a little bit um, like not really covered so now what I want to do is let's just put this here I think what I'm gonna do is pull this washi and just put this over top of the washi. I'm not really liking this one. What should I do, what should I do? Uh, yeah, I think I'll pick the black one, which I pulled. Find the end. And then I'm just going to tear it. You know, that seems to be uh, things people like to do. So we tear it, lay it down, and then I'm going to get maybe this polka dot washi and do the same thing. Layer it over top, right? And then put the October down. Let's hope it works. I'm sure it will. And that way it kind of too covers up that white. Um, Oh, I like that. Really, I should be changing those headers, too. What do you think? Oh, let's just get into that, shall we, Lori? But you know what? They're all a bit small, so I'm going to leave them. Yes. I've made the executive decision to leave it. And now, let's look at these stickers. Oh, geez, Louise. I really like this but I want to incorporate this. So, again, I'm, I pulled out the Modern Year just because it's got those muted and black box tones to them. Um, I'm wondering, boy, so this is kind of spooky-ish. 
the sticker here. So I'm wondering if I could put that down. Sorry, I'm just trying to look in my head here to figure out what I want. Do I want the cat sitting on the box so I can write in the box, put the hat on the box, and find maybe the this over here somewhere. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to put this box down here. And then I think what I'm going to do, this looks so much like my cat. My, my cat, his name's Dean Dean, and we love him to bits. So I think I'll just have him perched right on top. Love it so far. And then maybe how about a bat over a spider web coming off the side and then a bat that I'm sure he would just love to catch at any given moment because <laughs> that's just the kind of cat he is. He is a hunter and uh, even though I don't like him hunting the poor little chipmunks and that but he does get moles and mice and so we're grateful for that. I love this. So this is kind of you you write uh, with the white gel pen. So I've used this a couple times in my past spreads like maybe a year or two ago and it worked out nicely. So I'm going to try and incorporate that as well. I thought maybe up here and put Hello Weekend or Halloweeny. But that means, you know what that means, I'm going to have to write it well. That's a whole other level of anxiety. Okay, let's get off the anxiety talk, shall we? And um, let's look at these pumpkins and see what I can do with these pumpkins. I would like to use this one. And, um, oops, Lori. Take your time. Um, and I'd like to uh, put it down, I don't know, maybe in the center. Or off to, yeah, I'm going to do it off the edge here. And then that way I can put uh, this, I really like this one. Kind of right on the October 31st. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I was thinking of this washi um, to try and maybe uh, go across the boxes. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just do it like that. I get my card out and then whoops that I need to fix good I haven't used washi in quite a while so I'm feeling like I'm having I'm struggling with it for some reason I'm not but I I just feel that way. You know how sometimes you just, you haven't used something in a while and you think, oh my gosh, that's just not laying down the way I remembered it. So let's take these little pieces off. Me. <laughs> and then maybe this one. So this one is kind of a spooky one. I got in a package, I think many years ago at Michael's in their Halloween section. As you can tell, it didn't, uh, it didn't pull up. Sometimes the older washi, it, um, it has a hard time. Should I do up at the top? What should I do? Yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do because it's more decorated and I'm not going to cut it down. I'm just going to tear it. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. The 
this one I have to be a little bit more careful with because obviously I have some washi on the October heading. So I'll make sure it doesn't go butt up against it. Now, not sure if I should continue this or not, or if that's just gonna look too busy. But you know, I'm going to because I want these, um, what do you call it, it's these stickers that uh, Melanie has to pop. So I want them to be on something, much like the cat is on that box there. Like I just want it to stand out because they're so pretty for Halloween. So there's that. And then let's see what I can add now to the, I really love this. So this has got to go. And I wonder, should I just go off the box? Yes, I think that's, I think I'm going to, there's a lot of thinking going on and not much um, what do you call it? Laying down of stickers. So that kind of didn't go the way I wanted it to. See, I cut it on too much of an angle. Cheese Louise Lori. Okay, luckily I have another one. So I will use that one in a different place. Right now I'm just trying to figure this one out. And I thought maybe what I could do is kind of do it this way. So it's this part I have to cut a little bit of and not so deep. That's better. Right? What do you think? I don't like that it's on an angle like that. So that has to come up. I thought that would look good, kind of like tipsy, but it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it up and down. That's not straight. Um, resting on top of that washi. And then maybe what I'll do is I'm going to take the washi out there and there so that it you can see the branches. You know what I mean? Like, let's, come on. Let's just get with the program here. There. Oh my gosh, this just wants to stick to me like no other. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Perfect. Now, I think I'll take a spider web and go up here. I'll trim that later. That looks good. And I really like this bat. There's a few bats, so maybe I can put like a, let's see. Let us see. I like the big hat, so let's try the big hat. And I'm gonna look for another box. Let's put this down here for now. And um, I like these plain ones. So this is a gray, which would be nice because, you know, I, I'm trying not to get boxes in there because I don't want, um, but I'm gonna do this here because I always need something here. So I'm gonna lay this gray one here and I'm gonna put this hat kind of off kilter, just a tad. The witch's hat. Lovely. And then we can have, let, okay. So what I might do right this second is put this down because I want I want to make sure um, 
I have space for it because it's fairly big. This, and I think I'm just going to do it right here. Let's take it off. This was, um, I actually thought what it was was kind of like a chalkboard uh, tape, but it's, it, you actually have to use the gel, which, you know what? I mean, really, it's not that big of a deal, right? So yeah, you, you just get the white jelly roll pen, and I'll have to do that off camera because honestly, doing it on camera, that that will just be all kinds of, you know, outtakes and editing and all that kind of stuff. So, back to the bats. I think I'm just going to splash them around. And I really like the... So she gave the big size and a small size of them, which I really love that because, you know, there's options for you, right? So if you're doing your mini, you can use that. If you're doing your classic, which I am, you could use that, or you can incorporate the two. So because I'm doing the bats, I like the fact that there's big ones and little ones and medium-sized ones. So, you know, it looks a little bit more authentic, right? And I think what I'll do is put one right here because, you know, uh, I like the fact that they're um, kind of coming off of the cat. <laughs> Gives me that feeling that Dean Dean is scaring them all away. Even though I'm pretty sure if he was attacked by some sort of a bat, there'd be a lot of whining around. So that's cute. I like that. And what else can I put? I have another couple of cats. Let's just, I like this spider web here. And then let's just put another few spider webs around. So this box, although you can't really see it on camera, it's there. And maybe right up here, because I've got one here. Now, let's just, shall we say, I'm going to, let's see what else we got, um, the pumpkin. I'm going to put this pumpkin, and this one I'm going to cut, because I don't want a full pumpkin, but I want the... I want everyone to know there's a pumpkin there, so I won't put the full one there, but that's fine. And then I'm going to put Dean Dean right beside it. I call it Dean Dean. That's my cat's name, by the way. I don't remember if I said it. And then I'm going to put a little hat on him. He'd kill me, but that's happening. <laughs> Oh, that's not kind of sitting right. It has to go right on him to make it look like he's actually wearing it, right? So, put that, pull that up and put it there. <laughs> oh, I think that's so cute. So cute. So, of course, I have to leave some space for writing because it is my catch-all. But I have space here. I might do some lines because, you know, um, and maybe what I might do to, uh, not quite sure if I will or not. I'm going to put a little vase down here right beside this one. And then I'm going to put a spider web in between. So that kind of mimics the fact that Someone has just let those roses go to heck in a hand basket and there are spider webs in between. So 
so far so good. Now, I would like to incorporate another one of these, but it would have to be, I think, over here somewhere because I've got one here. And I've already got red on this side of the page. Red here. What should I do? I think maybe that's... I think I'm just going to go crazy with the bats. Right? I love the bats. I don't like them in real life, but, you know, when, when they're on my planner paper, not causing me any harm, I'm okay with them. <laughs> and I don't know if it's true or not, but does anybody know if this is true? But as a kid growing up, Everyone said, oh my God, don't let the bats near you. They'll get tangled in your hair. And, you know, I, I used to just freak out all the time over it because I did. I kept thinking, geez Louise, those bats are just going to get nested right into my hair and I'm going to have to cut it all off. And, you know, because you're vain like that when you're 12, God forbid. I just picked that age out of the hat, you know, because honestly, don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. You know, you guys know me. And if you're new, you'll get to know me the more you watch my channel. Um, let's just trim this. This. Oh, up here. What are you thinking so far? Aren't her stickers perfect? Like, and I know it's late to be showing this now, but you can get them for next Halloween or even, you know what? Like you don't even need them for Halloween. Those black cats and bats can be for any spread. Pumpkins, like seriously, you don't need them for just Halloween, which I like. like and these, like these are spectacular. I like these. And what else? I think I'll get my stencil to make some lines and my good pen, if I can find it. Does anybody else have a favorite pen? I have a favorite pen. And there it is. And I do like using it all the time. Like seriously, when I have to write something, I'll search it out before I just grab another pen. Which, I don't know, is everybody like that or is that just me? Let me just, I always like to start my pen off a little bit first before I do my lines because you know what, you always end up with, that works good. I'll do a line or two up here. Really what I should do is kind of crooked lines, but honestly, that is just something I don't know that I can handle right now. Crooked lines. I thought of doing it after the fact of my crooked spread, which if you haven't caught that yet, you should because, you know, you know me, I don't like anything crooked, and that spread was all kinds of crooked. On purpose. <laughs> and maybe right here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is maybe leave a little bit of space up there. So I'm only gonna do like maybe three lines, or I'll do four. Four lines, and then leave a space. And then, how about right here? And at the, here again, I can do three lines and leave a space. Good, very good. Now I'm wondering if we have any, just give me a sec, because I'm looking through all the stickers that I have to see if I have any 
Halloween. Yes. So I'm wondering, this is also from um, Our Budget Life, Melanie. She has these scripts. So what should I do? Should I just put it here and then write Hello Weekend? I think that's what I'm going to do because I love that. And then I'll try and write Hello Weekend there. Should I try and write it now for you guys? Oh, okay, I'm going to try. Everybody, just, you know, try and be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can find it. I can't even find it half the time because honestly I never use it. So I may have to I may have to do it after the fact. Because I don't want to keep you guys sitting here while I'm searching for a pen. And I could have swore I had it right here but you know once you're looking for something it's never around when you need it. That's white out, so I can't write with that. Okay. You know what? I will do it after. You'll see. Or actually, what's this? Uh, metallic color pen. And it's white. Should I? Should I try it? Let's see. Okay, let's get a piece of scrap paper, Lori. You know, I have nine trillion pieces of paper here. Yeah. And when I actually need it, um, I can't find a scrap piece. So this is going to say Hello Weekend. So I have to figure out the spacing because my handwriting's big. So I'm going to try. Here goes. You know the good thing about this is I can pick that strip up. So that's a that's going to be the, my my benefit to this. So okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, that's not even going to work. Alrighty. So that ended that pretty quick. Let's see. Do I have silver maybe? I have this silver metallic. Pro probably could use that. Let's try it. Well, that wasn't very good. That E really didn't. But you know what? We get it, right? We get what I'm trying to do there? Yes, we do. And that is that. I think that's going to be the end. What do you think? Is there something else I should do? I really want to try and use up all these spider webs. So let's try and just stick a few spider webs down, shall we? Actually, that's not too bad but I'll have to give it some time to dry because that's just um, kind of wet which is fine there we go what's everyone think I think it's perfect and with that I'm going to stop I don't need to punch any holes which is fabulous bring my planner back and usually I fold it and then pull it open but honestly I don't want to do that because I don't want to um, I don't want to uh, smudge that okay let's hope what's this oh little note to myself okay everyone see that yes okay that's that I hope everybody likes it 
I hope you'll like and comment and let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. And also, if you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to grow it, so all the support in the world, uh, you know, helps, and I greatly appreciate it. So, with that said, I hope everyone has a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.